brothers and sisters in Christ, let us include in our prayers the following tensions flashed on the screen. Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration. We are on the 10th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider is Reverend Father Rusty Cruz. Please stand and join the choir in singing the entrance song. Today, Jesus invites us to believe in him, even when the world and people around us tells us that his message is outmoded or too difficult. Holy Mother Church teaches us that the enemy is among us who tempts us to reject Jesus as the one sent by the Father to restore us to God. Let us pray today that we may take further steps towards witnessing the Lord in our lives. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. 
I confess to Almighty God and to, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. discern what is right and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen please be seated and listen to the word of God A reading from the book of Genesis. 
after the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness, that you may be revered. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. I trust in the Lord. My soul trusts in his word. More than sentinels wait for the dawn. Let Israel wait for the Lord. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. For with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption. And he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. With the Lord, there is mercy and fullness of redemption. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We too believe, and therefore we speak, knowing that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and place us with you in his presence. Everything indeed is for you, so that the grace bestowed in abundance on more and more people may cause the thanksgiving to overflow for the glory of God. Therefore, we are not discouraged. Rather, although our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. For this momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison, as we look not to what is seen, but to what is unseen. For what is seen is transitory, but what is unseen is eternal. For we know that if our earthly dwelling, a tent, should be destroyed. We have a building from God, a dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came home with his disciples. Again, the crowd gathered, making it impossible for them even to eat. When his relatives heard of this, they set out to seize him, for they said, He is out of his mind. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said, He is possessed by Beelzebul and by the prince of demons. He drives out demons. Summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan if a kingdom is divided against itself? The kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man then he can plunder the house amen i say to you all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them but whoever blasphemes against the holy spirit will never be will never have forgiveness but is guilty of an everlasting sin for they for they had said he has an unclean spirit his mother and his brothers arrived standing outside they sent sent word to him and called him a crowd seated around him told him your mother and your brothers and your sisters are outside asking for you but he said to them in reply who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around at those seated in the circle, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone and uh, happy rainy season to all. <laughs> you know, in the ordinary time, uh, the calendar of the church. And you know, the, the gospel, the beautiful gospel today speaks of a very uh, appealing image of a family, the family of God, to which it is now possible for us to belong. Jesus has more in mind than setting us free from sin. He wants us to share fully in the life He has with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He wants us to be part of His family. How can this happen? He declares, whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, and my mother. No? So the best example of what Jesus is talking about here is Mary, his mother, our mother. She has always remained sinless, always uh, victorious over Satan, always one with the will of God. And, uh, so Jesus invites us to join her in the family circle, that spiritual family of all who do the will of God. No? And, uh, uh, he manifest, she manifested that, uh, that uh, commitment the will of God by his by her fiat, you know, her yes you know, to the will of God, her magnificat, you know, and her Sabbath matter, you know, when uh, she stands at the foot of uh, uh, Jesus on the cross, you know, sabi niya, mabigat lahat ito, pero uh, aharapin ko ito, tatanggapin ito, because this, this is the will of God. You know? This is the plan of salvation, and so Kahit mahirap, uh, uh, tatanggapin ko ito. So, Jesus, in today's gospel, is talking about a very deep challenge of commitment. He is challenging his audience to examine their desire 
and commitment to follow him. He somehow minimizes the importance of a relationship based on blood alone. No? He points out that what really counts with him is the relationship that is brought about by obedience to God's will. So we have the uh, saying, blood is thicker than water. But in the context of our being brothers and sisters in God, being one in the family of God, water is thicker than blood. By virtue of our baptism, the water of baptism, no? that makes us one family and who will uh, inherit God's kingdom. So once a child of God, always a child of God. No? And that is a gift, a grace from God. It's not an, uh, an entitlement. No? Hindi ko mo pinanganak sa mundo. Eh. Entitled ako kung magmana ng kaharian ng Diyos. Eh, pinanganak ako eh. Hindi ganun yun. Because uh, it is, since it's a gift, kaakiban nito ay isang desisyon at responsibilidad. Laging kasama nito yung desisyon. Na, because uh, love, to love God, to commit ourselves to Him, is a decision. No? It is a decision. And uh, that entails responsibilities. So, pwede bang mag-desisyon ng tao na, ayoko nga, ayoko sumunod? Pwede, pwede pwede. Bakit? We have that, what we call, free will. No? Pwede bang sabihin ng Diyos na, sa ayot sa gusto mo, pupunta ka sa langit, at doon ay magiging magkakaroon ka ng buhay na ganap at kasya siya, sa ayot sa gusto mo. Pwede ba yan? Hindi. Bakit? Tayo magiging robot. Magiging robot naman tayo. Eh kaso tao tayo, hindi tayo robot. Kaya nga, we have that gift of uh, that free will. No? And so, uh, sa mga ayos sumunod, no? sabi nga ni Jesus, lahat ng kasalanan pwede mong patawarin. Pwede lang isa. No? Whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness but is guilty of an everlasting sin. No? So, uh, the, process, the prospect of an everlasting sin is uh, disturbing. However, we do not need to fear that we might accidentally or unknowingly commit a sin that will never be forgiven. Jesus is not speaking about a limit to divine mercy. Hindi ganun yun. So, divine mercy is always limitless. His mercy endures forever. Rather, he is identifying the limit that we impose on ourselves if we refuse to repent. If we refuse to repent. No? We cannot be forgiven if we refuse forgiveness and the Lord will not violate our freedom or force salvation upon us. Hindi niya pwede ipilit ang kanyang pagmamahal kung ayaw natin. So, the sin against the Holy Spirit are our willful and conscious attitudes and efforts to refuse or to block the sanctifying and salvific action of the Holy Spirit in our lives. No? And it is willful and conscious attitudes and efforts to refuse no? uh, the sanctifying and salvific action uh, of the Holy Spirit. So, uh, uh, what are these? Ano yung mga action natin na pwede nang masabi na sin against the Holy Spirit. One is animune. First is presumption. Presumption. Man's effort to save himself or herself without God's help. Iba na sabi niya, ililigtos ko sa sarili ko. Hindi po kailangan ng Diyos. Ayun, ano? So, uh, presuming to attain forgiveness without conversion and uh, God's glory without merit. Remember, no one can save himself or herself. Only God can save. Okay, sinabi ng isang tao, ililigtos ka sa sarili ko. Okay, ililigtos mo yung sarili mo. Saan ka pupunta pagkataos sa buhay na ito? Uh, gagawa ko ng sarili kong heaven. <laughs> Parang ano yun, na, nagkakaroon siya ng two, two liling. Two liling. No? Dahil hindi niya pwede ililigtos sa sarili niya. No? Ikalwa. Number two, despair. Despair. The giving up 
uh, of hope, lack of trust in God's grace, mercy, and justice. No? Yung, bang, uh, yung bang kawalan ng pag-asa. No? Hindi, hindi na, ma- hindi na, ma- hindi na magkakaroon ng kapatawaran. Hindi ako kaawaan ng Diyos. Masyado na akong nakasalanan. Yun, that is despair. No? Yung pagkalugmok sa uh, kawalan ng pag-asa. No? And thirdly, resisting the known truth. Resisting the known truth. Attacking or resisting the truth. Falling, uh, failing to defend what is true. Resisting uh, uh, or failing to inform our conscience with the truth. In other words, uh, defending what is false instead of defending what is true. No? Resisting the known truth. Ano ba ang mga katotohanan? Kasi ang lagi natin pinagbabasihan ay ang salita ng Diyos, the Word of God. Ano ba ang katotohanan sinasabi sa Biblia? Especially when speak about the family. Kware, sinasabi sa Biblia. Sa simula at simula, ang plano ng Diyos sa pamilya, ano yun? Maging isang buo, ano? there's unity, love. No? Yan ang plano ng Diyos. No? Maging mabunga, ano? at uh, maging kaayaya sa paningin ng Diyos. Eh, ano sumisira? Sisira sa sa pamilya. Pare, ang divorce. Ano? Divorce. Eh, alam naman natin, ang divorce sa ating bansa, sabi nga ng, uh, na natin eh, tayo na lang ang matinong bansa. Ano? Nananantiling matino. The rest ay, uh, tayo na lang, yung bang, lahat ay, nagkawin daw winda na ang dalang pamilya ganyan no e tayo na lang nanatiling matino kaya sabi ng ibang batas kailangan sumama na tayo para sama-sama together no <laughs> kaya yun approve na sa camera sa third reading approve na ang divorce no pero s'yempre dadalhin pa sa proseso no i think the president is not uh, in favor of it pero uh, sa camera ay eh, approve na no at uh, pag sinabi, eh hindi ba, yun ba ang kagustuhan ng Panginoon? Yun ang katotohanan na nais ng Panginoon eh, na alisin ang divorce. Pero, uh, siyempre, ang mga Pinoy naman, uh, ang iba ang in favor. Bakit? Eh kasi nga, eh, sabi nga nila, eh, kung may problema, eh, gawa, gawa na ng paraan. Pero alam natin tayo mga Pinoy, kilala natin natin sarili, na kapag merong binigyan ka ng puwang, para makalusot, lahat na yun, magdudumugin yung puwang na yun. Ano? Yung, bang, yung bang riso na yun. Ano? Kaya, siguro sa sabi, siguro naman konti lang mag apply ng divorce. Eh, binigyan mo ng puwang eh. Ano? Pag binigyan mo ng puwang, alam naman ang Pinoy, naka, dudumugin yan. Ano? Dudumugin. Kaya, meron tayong tribunal eh. Sa ating diocese, no? kagagawa lamang. Ano? Meron tayong uh, tribunal for regarding uh, this uh, mga family matters ano and so uh an bang divorce it an ba kinakaiba no sa legal uh, separation illegal separation kasal pero legally magiging magse-separate ano naman yung annulment sa simula at simula walang kasa, kasal na nangyari pero ang divorce may kasal may naturo yung nangyaring kasal tutunawin nyo ng divorce. No? Ganun ang divorce. E ngayon, kung, uh, kung sa ibang bansa ay uh, nagkawindang-winda ang pamilya, ay eh, expect, siguro, eh, do- doon to. Sabi nga, sa mga magagawang gumawa ng batas na ito, sabi nga ay, eh, you cannot judge the book if you are not a judge. No? Kaya, hindi natin sila pwedeng husgahan. No? Mangyay, kung ano mangyayari sa ating bansa, still to be seen. Ano? So, resisting the known truth. Ikaapat, envy of another spiritual good, considering one spiritual gift inferior and desiring the spiritual gifts of another. In a sense, this type of sin questions God's wisdom and generosity regarding the spiritual gifts He gives to us. Ano? Yung bang uh, ting mo sa sarili uh, maliit, no? at uh, ay mong gamitin yung binigay sa inang Panginoon, talento, kagalingan, 
Naingit ka sa iba. Ang galing-galing naman niya. Ang galing-galing naman ni Bo Sanchez, ni Arun. Ano? Sana ako rin ganun. Sana ako rin ganun. Hoy, meron ka sariling gift. Pagyamanan niyan. Ano? Magiging ayas pa rin. So, five, obstinacy in sin. Obstinacy. Katigasan. No? Pagiging matigas ang puso sa kasalanan. Yung bang uh, to persist stubbornly in a life of sin, refusing the promptings of the Holy Spirit in our lives that invites us to a new life. Yung bang uh, talagang tigasin. No? Tigasin. Ang talagang ayaw niya magbago. No? Obstinacy in sin. And the last is final impenitence. To die without repenting, without uh, feeling sorry for the sins, wrongs, or injustices committed. And uh, so, ito yung kuminsan may mga pelikula na yung sa huling sandali, eh, bago bitayin, eh, nila, magbago yan, nagsisisi ka na ba? Nagsisisi ka na. Minsan, kapag uh, yung nandun yung uh, final impenitence, impenitence ano sabi, ayaw pang tanggapin yung kanyang ginawa, yung kasalanan. Yung pili ko lang ganun eh, no? Pero, uh, but in the end, bago sa bitayin, ay eh, uh, by the grace of God, nakuha rin niyang magbalik loob. Ano? Uh, dahil kung hindi, kung hindi siya nagbalik loob sa huling sandali, ang gusto ay uh, iisa lang kapupuntahan nun. No? Talagang impyerno. May impyerno ba? Nakakano naman yan. Nakakano naman pag impyerno, impyerno. Meron ba impyerno? Meron? Yes. Meron. No? At uh, sino pumunta ng impyerno? Yung mga nagdesisyon, pumunta ng impyerno. No? Yung mga nagdesisyon. No? Kasi nga, dahil nga tayo merong free will. But uh, remember, uh, we are all invited to love. Because sabi nga, they will know that we are Christians by our love. By our love. We are Christians. Ano? So, hindi naman tayo nilikha ng Diyos para sa impyerno, kundi para sa langit. Ano? Because we are one family of God. And so, uh, we, maybe we ask ourselves, we ask ourselves, ano? uh, how do we demonstrate our commitment and our obedience to God's will? Ano, ano ba ang kalooban ng Diyos sa atin? Ano? ano ba ang kalooban ng Diyos sa atin? Ano? Meron tayong kanya-kanyang misyon. No? Iba yun sa iyo, iba yun sa akin iba, iba, Kakaiba tayo eh no? Huwag mo ikukumpara yung mission mo sa, 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 sa iba no? Meron kang uh, uh, unique qualities ano? You are uniquely loved by the Lord And you are, are all called to serve We are all called to serve no? So may uh, we uh, respond to our callings ano? uh, With love ano? Everything should be done out of love. Amen. Please stand. We now profess our faith. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Mindful of Jesus' identification of his family as those who follow the will of God, let us pray to our Heavenly Father that we too may have faith in his Son and resolve to do what is pleasing to him. For every petition we say, Lord, listen to our prayer. Lord, listen to our prayer. May the church with its clergy and servants proclaim the gospel with priceless joy and unwavering faith, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May government officials be aware of their intrinsic ties to the people they serve 
and avoid enacting laws which are detrimental to human life and dignity, we pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our, our prayer. prayer. May religious men and women heed the call to renew their vows, not only in ritual, but more importantly, in faithful witness to the one to whom they have consecrated their lives, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May young people not only reject the culture of death, materialism, untruth, and instant gratification, but also discover the beauty of simplicity and spiritual things, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. May those who have passed away, trusting in Christ, be received into the dwelling not made with hands, eternal in heaven, we pray. Lord, listen to our prayer. We now pray for our own personal intentions. Heavenly Father, listen to your children who seek your day, who seek you day and night, but most importantly in this Eucharist, that faith may be granted to them so that we may stand with your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Brother Caesar, that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service. O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly, truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from an ending death and by rising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with the angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory osana in the highest Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this is we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us. 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave him thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation. Given thanks to have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, just our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all of that in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. From the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For an orderly receiving of Holy Communion by Rose, please allow our ushers to guide you.
us pray. May the healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Every Lord. Everyone is invited to stay and join the feast that will follow right after the Mass. And in behalf of the entire Feast Bellevue AM family, we would like to thank our Mass presider, Reverend Father Rustic Luz, for celebrating the Holy Eucharist with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Oh, don't a blessing. May your people receive your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by that gift, spurn all that would harm them and obtain what they desire through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessed Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day.
Hi, Alvin Barcelona. Alam nyo, ang buhay yung tatay ko. Pag sinabi ng tatay ko, sumusunod ako. Dahil alam ko, may magandang mangyayari pag sinunod ko, tatay ko. Kaya ako, tatay, nagsasabi sa inyo, manood kayo ng father's love. Sumunod kayo, pero sigurado may magandang mangyayari sa inyo. mag enjoy na kayo. May be blessed pa kayo. See you! Father's Love Concert! This is Brother Albert Cabrillas and I'm personally inviting you to attend the Father's Love Concert on June 24, 6.30 p.m. Bellevue Hotel. My friends will be there, we will be there, and it's gonna rock wild. You will feel the love of God there. <coughs> Father's Love Concert, I will be there and uh, I will try to do something that maybe, you know, you, you don't see often. <laughs> and... Uh, just promise me you will not laugh. That's all. And excited to see you. And we'll have a fantastic time together. Father's love comes through. Good morning everybody, welcome to the feast. Can I invite you all to stand up? Let's all get on our feet and greet the people around you. Good morning! My name is Veya and I serve here in Feast Bellevue but in the afternoon session and I'm so happy to be here because this on this brand new day, we are going to sing brand new feast worship songs. Is that okay with you? Yes, is that okay with you? And not only that, we're not just going to sing, we're also going to dance a little this morning. Is that okay? Who's up for a little dancing this morning? Not a lot of people, but that's okay. You know, in the book of Samuel, when King David saw the Ark of the Covenant coming, the Ark of the Covenant is actually the symbol of God's presence in the Old Testament. And when King David saw that it was arriving, he danced for joy. And he said that, I will dance to my heart's content. And I would gladly look like a fool if it's for the glory of God. Tell the person beside you, dance like a fool. Madali lang po ang gagawin natin. Three easy steps. When we go to the chorus part and we say, I give you my heart, I want you to just pump your hands up like this. Come on. Put your hands up. I give you my heart. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. Put, and then put your hands together. And then when we say, 
every corner, every part, I want you to keep that hands up again. Pump it up, but this time with your foot. Okay, with your foot. Every corner, every part. And then put your hands together. And when we say, you are all that I desire, now I want you to get all the desire, all the passion, all the energy that you have for God, and jump up and down on your feet and put your hands up like this. Okay? Every corner. I'm oh, sorry. You are all that I desire. Come on. I want to see you jump. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right. Can you give yourselves a big, big hand? Give yourselves a big, big hand. We're going to dance like David danced. For today, Jesus in this place is in this place and we rejoice in His presence. Amen? Come on, let's give a shout of praise to God! Put your hands together. Put them up high. Come on. stars, keeper of my heart. Master of all plans, my life is in your hands. You finish what you start, keeper of my heart. I trust in you, your promise is true, your praise
that the keeper of the universe is the keeper of our hearts. Amen? We're gonna sing a brand new song, and this time this is a song about healing. And the story behind this song, it was inspired by my father-in-law because he was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer two years ago. And that news actually brought depression, brought sadness and sorrow in his heart. But every time, each and every time I would lead worship in the afternoon, I would always see him in the crowd with hands lifted up high, worshiping God like he had no problems. Because he knew in his heart, despite of the sadness, despite of the sorrow, despite of the fear, he knew in his heart that healing wasn't just an event. Healing wasn't just a state or a condition of his body. He knew that healing is a person and he knew that healing has a name and his name is Jesus. And so today maybe you're coming in here and maybe there are parts in your life that needs healing. And today, I just want to invite you to just surrender that to our God. To our Jesus, whose other name is Healer. Today, we're going to declare together that He is a healer of the broken. He is the Savior of the fallen and He makes all things new. Amen? And so if you are with us, come on, let's all make the sign of faith in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You can lift up your hands to heaven. As a sign of surrender, that's something comfortable for you. And just surrender to His presence, to His healing power in this place. Come on, let's have your hearts and not sing it. 
We surrender to you our dreams, every hope in our hearts, knowing that you will make them all beautiful in your own time. That one day we will look back and see that all throughout these years you have been working for our good. So we continue to surrender. We continue to claim that your love will never fail in our lives.
you love, yung mga mahal nyo, yakapin nyo nga, tapos sabihin mo sa kanya, believe in God's goodness. Give the Lord a big hand, bless His name. Kayo ang mga matatapang na sumabak sa baha at sa bagyo, kaya pagpapalain kayo ng Panginoon. Ako pagpapalain din, pero konti lang. Kasi trabaho ko to eh. Kayo, hindi nyo to trabaho. Pumunta kayo dito because you wanna come here and experience God. Amen? Tapos mami, magbibigay pa kayo sa love offering. Sobra talaga, no? <laughs> Ganun talaga eh. Kaya, nakikita ng Diyos yan sa inyo. Hindi kayo natatakot, dumami. Alam nyo yung dumami. <laughs> Pag nabasa, Gremlins. <laughs> But you're here. So I want you to prepare yourself for God's miracle. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's pray our favorite prayer together today. I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbound. Limitless. Healing and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Thy Word is a lamp unto my feet. And a light unto my path. Who among you here would like to have a job that pays 500,000? Sige nga, ayan, nako, kahit ako, tataas ko kamay ko, ha? 
Tapos pakinggan niyo tong trabahong ito ha. Pakinggan niyo tong trabaho na to. Merong full medical benefits. May dental me- benefits. May free uniform. Grabe ha. Ang uniform yellow tapos may stripe na black. 500,000. You will be checking car suspensions. Ganito po ang itsura ninyo. So, papalit ka ng humps. Ha? Gusto nyo pa ba yan? 500,000 na uh, parang, wag, di ba? Nakakatakot, ano? You know, people will work for a company that pays well even if the work hours are killing them already. Or it is very toxic. May magtatrabaho pa rin sa ganun. Why do people do it? Because of what we call job security. Sabi nyo nga, job security. Minsan pa naghahanap ng trabaho, ang unang hinahanap ay yung kano ba sweldo niyan? Okay ba benefits niyan? Why? Because we want security. It is not bad. It is, there is nothing wrong with that except it won't give you long-term happiness kung yun lang ang palaging hinahanap. May kaibigan ako, he works in a company. Tapos for 12 years, dun siya nagtatrabaho. Alam nyo nangyari? Every time, for those 12 years, every time kami magbimit, tapos tatanungin ko, kumusta trabaho mo? Every time, meron siya reklamo. Eh, hey, yung boss ko, napalitan, di ko gusto yung boss ko. Ganun. Yung mga kasama ko, walang kwenta, parang mga, mga ano, demonyo. Ganun. Yung boss ko, satanas. Ganyan. Saan ka nagtatrabaho? Sa impyerna ko. Ganun. Sabi ko, kung, kung, ang, kung ang boss mo sa tanas, mga kasama mo, demonyo, sa impyerno ka nagtatrabaho, ano ka? Demonyo rin. Ganun. <laughs> Dami reklamo talaga. Wala na lang hindi. Pano yung reklamo? Pero, hindi umalis sa trabaho. Ay, lumipat. Bakit? Security. The security it gives him. He cannot afford to quit. Why? He needs money and some benefits for his family. Let me tell you something that is more important and more powerful than security. It is called significance. Mas mahalaga sa security yan. Kailangan natin yun. Pero pag walang significance, saya. You need microphone also. Huh? You need security. You also need significance. Kaya, tingnan nyo nga ang katabi nyo kung meron bang significance sa buhay niya. Security can get you to stay in a company, but only significance can make you feel satisfied. If you're a business owner, you listen. Why? You have to look at your people. Are you giving them significance? Or are you just teaching them to be secure in your company? Kaya, imbitahan nyo ang mga motivational speakers, inspirational speakers sa kumpanya nyo para ano, ipamukha sa kanila na mahalagang ginagawa nila. Kasi minsan, di mo kaya sabihin yun sa kanila. Kaya, imbitahan nyo kami para magkatrabaho rin kami. No? You will always struggle with significance at work if you are only concerned with security. May hirapan. Hindi mo masyadong titignan yung significance kasi ang palagi mong hinahanap, security. When you think of work, don't look at it from a perspective of security but from a perspective of significance. Because I don't want you to wake up one day realizing that all you ever did was chase money, chase security. Tapos biglang you will realize someday na ano, wala pala akong ginawa, yun lang ang hinabol ko. Ang dami pa palang dapat hinahabol. Don't just chase money, chase meaning. Don't just chase security, chase significance. Tapikin nyo nga yung tatlong taong katabi nyo. Sabi nyo, chase significance, chase significance. This is our passage found in Philippians. Can you read 
this word of God with me together. And my God shall supply all your needs in accordance to His glorious riches in Christ Jesus. You know, I, I love why Paul inserted the word all. Sabi nyo nga all. Because he understands that we have more than just one need. Hindi lang security ang kailangan mo. Hindi lang pera ang kailangan mo. You also need some other things. Like you need rest. You need peace. You need love. You need significance in your life. Our one big message of the whole talk today, this is talk number two of the series Workaholic. The one big message is this. God is repairing your walls. God is repairing your walls. Security is just one side of the wall to protect your life. But you have other walls in your life that you also need your attention to. And that is what we will talk about today. My prayer is that you allow God to repair your other walls. Put your hands upon your heart. Close your eyes, bow down your head. Father in heaven, we are here because we love you. Yung iba sa amin, lumaban talaga sa ulan at sa baha. Pero nandito pa rin. Nabasa, pero alam namin, mas mababasa kami ng iyong pagparala. I pray, O oh Lord, that you speak to us so that we can change our lives. This is our prayer we claim. And we claim blessings today in your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand and bless His name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As you sit down, tell people around you, let God repair your wall. Let us do a little history today. Sabi nyo nga, history. Naalala ko nung ako'y nag-aaral pa lang high school, pumasok yung teacher ko. Sabi niya ganyan, Good morning class! Our lesson for today is history. Tapos tinuro ako, Mr. Gogna. Magulat ako eh. What is history? Patay. Sabi ko, sir, History is our lesson for today. <laughs> Wala, eh, di ko alam, di ba? Lesson for today, no? In the year 842 BC, King Solomon built the first temple of Jerusalem. Grabe, ginawa niya talaga yan. But in 586 BC, ang counting po nun, babalik, ha? Papunta sa zero. Okay? So, 842 BC, ginawa ang templo ng Jerusalem ni Solomon. Tapos 586 BC, Babylon or Babylonians conquered Israel. Dumating na ang sumakop sa kanila. Ano yan? Babylonians. And they destroyed this temple to the ground. And brought Israel or Israelites to exile in Babylon. Kinuha lahat ng matatalino. Itinira yung hindi marunong. Tapos dinala lahat sa Babylonia. So yun ang nangyari. Nandun sila sa Babylonia. Pero after just a few years, Babylonians were invaded by another stronger empire, Persians. The Persians conquered the whole entire world, not just Babylon. Ito ang Babylonians, ganito ang style nila. Pag gusto nilang i-conquer yung mga lugar, sinisira nila lahat, tapos kinukuha nila lahat ng tao, dinadala nila sa kanila. Ganon. Tapos dito kayo magagaling, pagandahin nyo ang Babylonia. Ang Persians, ibang style. Huwag kayong pumunta rito sa Persia. Diyan kayo sa lugar nyo, pero you're under us. Magbayad lang kayo ng tax. So, ibang style. So, ngayon, nandito sila sa Babylonia, the Jews, yung mga matatalino at magagaling, tapos their country was in ruins. Tapos nung dumating na ang Persians, pinauwi sila. Uwi na kayo. So umuwi yung mga Israelites. Alam niyo una nilang ginawa? The temple of God. Next Sunday, I will teach you about it. 
Actually, hindi yun ang una nilang ginawa. Pero, just for the sake of talking about it, ginawa nila yung temple. So, nung gawa na yung temple, the second temple of Jerusalem, iniwan nila yung walls na sira. Pag wala hong pader, delikado yan. Sa inyong village, sa inyong lugar, may pader ba yung bahay niyo? May mga walls, yung mga, may mga gates? Di ba? Sa amin, sa Alyala Lebang, you know, Plum shadow. No? Talaga kailangan. Bakit? Delikado. Baka pumasok kung sino-sino. Di ba? Yung pumasok yung magdanakaw, aso, kapitbahay. Yung mga kung sino delikado yan. Yung mga pasok mga kapitbahay. No? Nandiligaw sa anak mo. Kaya kailangan may gate. Ha? May, may electric. Ganun. No? So in Israel, Jerusalem, wala hong walls. Wala. Nothing. Only the temple. Tapos, there was a man who worked in Persia, Jew. Hindi siya sumama. Dito lang siya sa, sa, sa lugar ng palasyo ng hari. His name is Nehemiah. Sabi niyo nga, Nehemiah. Kilala niyo ba si Nehemiah? Sikat yan. May kanta nga yan si Nehemiah. Eh. Alam niyo yung kanta Nehemiah? Tanong niyo sa akin, Ano? Nehemaya, Nehemaya Pusuko. Si Nehemaya, he was the cup bearer of the emperor. Ay, grabe. Pag cup bearer ka, pag iinom yung emperor, aabutan mo na ang baso, malapit ka, kinakausap ka, malaki ang tiwala sa'yo. Kasi pag emperor, madali lasunin. So pag cup bearer ka, bago mo ibigay, ikaw muna. So, ikaw muna mamamatay. <laughs> Galing, di ba? So, siya tagabigay. So, malaki yung tiwala. But he was a Jew. When he heard about the sorry state of the walls of Jerusalem, something happened in Nehemiah. May nangyari sa kanya. Nung nabalitaan niya, talaga, sira pa rin yung padir. Ito po nangyari sa kanya. They also told me, it's in his book, that the walls of Jerusalem were still broken down and that the gates had not been restored since the time they were burned. When I heard all this, Nehemiah said, I sat down and wept. For several days, I mourned and did not eat. I prayed to God. Bakit po? Walls are very important to protect its people. So, pag walang wall, delikado. Kahit maganda yung templo, pwedeng pumasok yung mga kalaban. Walls also show that that nation is also a significant nation already. Kaya pagka wala pang pader yung nation na yan, pipitsuging nation yan, hindi pa yan mahalaga, huwag yung pansinin yan. Don't make trades with them. So, talagang kawawa ang Israelites. So, siya naawa siya. And then he said this, I prayed to the God of heaven. And then I said to the emperor, if your majesty is pleased with me and is willing to grant my request, let me go to the land of Judah, to the city where my ancestors are buried so that I can rebuild the city. The emperor with the empress sitting at his side approved my request. Tingnan yung ending. The emperor with the empress sitting at his side approved my request. Ibig sabihin, dalawa silang nag-approve. Hindi lang isa. Ibig sabihin, mahal siya ng emperor at ng empress. At ang nasusunod talaga ay ang mga babae. Yan lang naman. Wala nang iba. No? No? Kita mo, kailangan kasama yung empress. And you know, that is what happened to him. He was sent to build the walls. I would like you to imagine Nehemiah. Nehemiah was very comfortable there already. Nasa palasyo ako. Bakit ko isipin niyo yung squatter ng aking lugar doon? Bahala na kayo dyan. But he still wanted to help his countrymen. Why? This is what we call the burden of God. God gives us the privilege of carrying His burden in our hearts. Ganyan ang Diyos. Bidsang pag hindi siya mapakali, ibibigay niya sa iyo. 
ibibigay sa iyo. Kaya minsan nagtatanong ka, Panginoon, bago pinayagan mangyari yan sa kanila? Bakit nabagyo ito? Bakit nasunog ito? Bakit wala kayong ginawa tungkol dyan? Alam mo yung sagot ng Diyos, meron akong ginawa, ikaw. Ano ginagawa mo? Burden of God. Ano yung burden of God mo? Tandaan nyo, the Lord does not just comfort the disturbed. He also disturbs the comfortable. So question, is God disturbing you today? Sikuhin mo nga yung katabi mo. Ayan, sikuhin mo lang. Sige na, huwag kang mahiya. Na-disturb ba siya? Yung siniko mo, tumingin siyang ganon? Sinisiko-siko ka na ng Diyos. Baka araw-araw mo itong nakikita, tapos hindi ka mapakali. Ano yon? What is God disturbing you about? Do something about it. Let me pause. Let me call someone to share with you how he was disturbed by the Lord. And now, he would like to bless many, many people. Let us welcome first time here at Feast Bellevue, Penny Bongato. Magandang umaga po. This is my first time in Feast Bellevue. And I am very excited. Sabi ko nga eh, this is another dream come true. Sa buong buhay ko, ang dami ko nang pinanaginip. Ang rami na, ang rami. And the Lord has given me so many of my dreams already. Kasi po, hindi ako nahihiyang magtanong. Hindi ako nahihiyang humingi. So, the title of my talk or my sharing today is... Tingnan natin. Is, why am I here? To a journey to a hundred thousand lives. This is who I am. My first time here in Feast Bellevue. My name is Penny Bongato. I am a mother. Four kids. They're not kids. Grown-ups. Two daughter-in-laws. One husband is here with me. Hashtag May forever. 32 years na po kami. I am a teacher. I teach at College of De La Salle College of St. Benilde. I'm a coach and ultimately a lifelong learner. Hili ko pong mag-aral. Hili ko pong magtanong, ano ba ang ginagawa ko dito? I attend the feast. I attend the feast at Bay Area. And I have been given the privilege of sharing then doon. So I am really blessed. Sharing with you my, my, my story, I am a motivational speaker like Brother Arun, but I only made the, sh the shift recently. I've been working for a lot of many, many years, for 37 years, and ang dami ko na pong posisyon na nahawakan. Ang sabi nga eh, I was chasing the security. I was chasing my dream. And I, in, all honesty, in all honesty, I was chasing the money. Gusto ko pong magkaroon ng maraming pera para pag humama ang buhay ko hanggang 100 years old, yun ang plano ko. Ako po ay senior citizen na, wala sa itsura, alam ko. Pero gusto ko lang pong sabihin na talagang ang plano ko is to live a long life because I have so many things to share. This is me right now. January 1, 2018, I decided to, I decided to, sorry, I decided to move to a new phase in my life, which is retirement. I retired from a job that I loved to do for seven years, and I did, it wasn't required of me to retire, but I told myself, if I don't do this now, kailan pa? Kailan pa ako gagawin ang gustong gusto kong gawin sa buhay ko? If not now, when? So I moved from this, from the, sorry, from the comfortable to the uncomfortable. And as Dean Pax, some of you may know him, always said, you know, the, the good life is in your comfort zone. The great life is in your courage zone. So, linakasan ko na ang loob ko at sinabi kong, it's time. It's time. This is me now, moving outside of my comfort zone. Was I worried when I retired? Yes. San ko kukunin yung pera? My husband several years ago had cancer. Dalawa pa. 
So, ang colon and prostate. So, sabi ko, saan, saan kami kukuha ng pera just in case magkasakit siya? But I told myself, you know, hindi tayo pinabayaan ng Diyos ever since. We have trusted in Him and put our faith in Him and I don't think He will start now. We'll put our faith and trust in the Lord. So that is what we did. And this is where I am. So I was with a company, my workaholic me, I was with a company called Headstrong. I was before Y2K. Naalala niyo po yung Y2K? Wala na. Puro millennials. Year 2000. When we were hiring so many people just because of the Y2K bug. Sabi nila, magka-crash ng aeroplano, mawawala yung mga ganyan pera sa banko because from 1999 to 2000, magkakaroon ng problema. So I was working for a company called Headstrong and I said, okay siya, maganda siya, dami yung trabaho. Kaya lang after Y2K, I was retrenching a lot of people. Sinasabi ko po sa mga tao, wala na kayong trabaho bukas, magpaka-up na kayo, ito na yung pay, yung pay nyo para sa years of service nyo. And I could see people crying. I could see men cry. Ang mga lalaki po ang umiiyak pag nawawala ng trabaho. Ang mga, mga babae hindi. Bakit? Kasi ini-expect nila yung asawa nila ang may trabaho. Kaya pag nawala ng trabaho yung lalaki, talagang hagulgol. Paano na po kami? And it paid me to do that. So, I moved to another industry. I moved to Converges. Meron pong mga ex-cons dito. Ex-con. Hindi po kami ex-convict. Ex-converges. I was ex-con. I am ex-con. True blue ex-con. I was Converges employee number one. First employee in the country. First employee in the Philippines. My leap of faith. Wala pang traba, wala pang opisina, wala pang boss, wala. Apat ang anak, nag iskwela nag-retire na asawa ko. Lord, tama ba to? But it was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. In Converges po dyan sa Alabang, dyan, sa kanto, lupa pa yan. Wala pang building dito sa North Gate. Sabi namin, kami ang magtatayo niya and see what it has grown to. I have been proud to be part of the BPO industry because I was giving jobs to a lot of Filipinos. Kaya lang, I was giving jobs to Filipinos in one company. After convergence, I moved to different positions, different companies. Ang sabi ko, parang may kulang pa. Parang kailangan pa. Meron pa ako dapat gawin. Oop, next slide. So there is something missing, something lacking. What was my significance? What should I do? So I started teaching. I am now a, it's a still a teacher. I'm part-time faculty at the La Salle College of St. Benil. And I love being with students. Maganda rin po yung pakiramdam na yung mga studyante ko lalapit sa akin sa sabihin, Miss Penny, manager na po ako. Miss Penny, may anak na po ako. Miss Penny, flight attendant na po ako. Sabi ko, ang layo sa HR. Miss Penny, I, 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 it gives me a lot of joy knowing that I am touching people's lives. Then I moved to another company, association called IBPAP, IT and Business Process Association of the Philippines. Association ng mga BPOs. Pay cut po. Ayoko na mag night shift. Tama na. Tama na ang night shift. Gusto ko na mamakita ang aking mga anak. Tama na ang paghahabol sa pera. Sabi ko, if I give no my purpose and my significance, the money will follow. Basta masaya ako, masaya ako sa ginagawa ko, susunod ang pera. Hindi naman ako naghahangad maging milyonaryo eh. Tama na yun, sapat lang. And I have been blessed. My, wife, my work at IBPAP has been the most significant seven years of my life because I was not helping one company, I was helping the whole industry. I was executive director for talent development and my work was education. So nakatulong po yung pagtuturo ko sa college, pagkausap ko mga teachers, pagkausap ko yung mga presidente ng mga eskwela, pagkausap ko yung deans. Sinasabi ko, I am also an academician and I know how you feel. However, the journey in my life didn't stop, and it still continued. I was looking for more. 
And I met this guy, his name is Jack Canfield, he's author of Chicken Soup for the Soul. Alam niyo po yan? Yes? Kilala niyo po? Yes. Kilala natin sa libro. libro. And he, he wrote um, Success Principles and he was at The Secret. And I attended this workshop in 2010. And I said, ang ganda. Ang ganda kasi nakikita niya, how do you get from where you are to where you want to be? How do we follow our dreams? How do we make our dreams come true? So I realized that this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. I attended Jack's program uh, in 2014. Nakikita niyo po yung picture. Hindi po ako nagle-lecture dyan. Umakyat lang po ako sa stage. Pa-picture naman. Pa-picture. Kunyari ako ang nag-workshop. Pero hindi po. Pretending. As I say, acting as if. As I say, pretending, and my coach would say, hindi pretending yan, Penny, practicing. Sige, practicing. And I decided to be a Canfield certified trainer so that I can help more Filipinos dream big. And I said, this is really what I want. So in 2016, sorry, 2016, I decided to fulfill my dream. What else did God create me in this world to do? How can I serve others? What is my purpose? What is my passion? <coughs> so I became a Canfield certified trainer. That's me with Jack. And I fulfilled my dream of being certified in 2016. Bakit ko Because I want to help the Filipinos. I found my purpose. My purpose is to help Filipinos dream big. What blessings do I give to the world? Sabi nga kanina din Sis Belle kay Sis Melanie. Sabi ko, ninenervyos ako kasi first time ko sa Bellevue. Sabi, hindi, magaling yung mag-speak. Nakakatakot, nakakanervyos din po. But I have no, I know that I have been gifted with being able to share and being able to speak. Nakakatakot din kasi sabi ko nga, hindi fixed income, hindi ako sigurado kung ano susunod na paycheck. But I put all my faith and trust in the Lord. And He has never failed me. He has never failed us. Tama? Amen? Amen. So what is my purpose? What is it that I love to do? This thing that we do, and Brother Arun would, would know this, I can do this every day. I can speak every day about how to be successful. I teach it to my students. Kasama sa lesson ko. I can I talk about it in barangays. I do all of these things because I love doing it. Kaya nang sa, minsan, sabi namin, sana naman may bayan. Kasi kailangan din namin kumain. But I really love what I do. And sharing with you my vision board, this I shared at Brother Bo's feast last year. I do a lot of vision board workshops and this is, was my vision board in 2017. I asked Brother Bo last December, Brother Bo, pwede ba akong bumalik sa Feast Bay area to show kung ano na nangyari doon sa 2017 vision board ko. May nangyari ba? Totoo ba tong vision board o dream board? Totoo ba to? Talaga bang nangyayari? Sharing with you what happened last time. So I was able to share at Brother Bo and Brother Didoy's feast. I was able to assist in Jack program and tingnan nyo yan waki shot na yan waki na sa kanila yan ha? and my grandson was born last year he just turned one two days ago and so many things have happened in my life so many wonderful things especially when I found my significance and my purpose so the biggest event of my life last year was launching my book I'm an engineer by education. I never thought I'd, wrote, I'd write a book. My book is called Career Shift, Follow Your Passion. It was, it was available at the KCON. And this is Jack. He wrote the foreword of my book. And this is Brother Bo, Bo attending the launch of my book. And how did it happen? Makulit po ako, I asked. I asked, 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 asked until they said yes. Until Brother Arun also said yes. Hindi talaga tinantana niya. And once again, I know my purpose already. 
is to touch 100,000 lives. To make Filipinos dream. Tama na yung pwede na. Tama na yung okay lang. Pag tinanong natin, how are you surviving? Huwag naman surviving. How are you thriving? We are here to dream big. Kung kaya ng mga ibang tao, kaya natin. Kung kaya ko, kaya nyo. Kung kaya nyo, kaya ng iba. Let us all dream big. And my life journey is to really touch 100,000 lives. Just give me a few seconds to do this. I'd like to end my talk with this. Gratitude. Gratitude is the best attitude. And the more grateful you are, the more blessings come your way. And I am grateful for Brother Arun and the Feast Bellevue for allowing me to share my life and my, my passion and my significance with you. It's a blessing that I will never ever forget. And it is a dream come true. And I always end with my, my day and my beginning of the day with a prayer. And my prayer is, thank you, Lord, for the overflowing blessings in my life. I put all my faith and trust in you. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. Nehemiah. A burden. And he, she wants to share it to the world. Are your, uh, is your book available in bookstores already? Okay. Next time, she will come back to launch it here. Pero sabi ko, wag na ngayon kasi we have a launching also today. So, isa-isa lang ang launch. Baka tumalbog tayong lahat kung sabay-sabay. Ano? So, next time, I will ask her to come back to do that. The Jerusalem Temple symbolize Israel's spiritual life. So, sa kanila, napakahalaga ng templo kasi yan ang sentro ng kanilang pananampalataya. So, the temple was already standing but the city walls were not. What is that telling us? The message is this. God is not just concerned with your spiritual life. He is also concerned with your secular life. So, hindi lang yung kaluluwa mo ang target ni Lord. Mahalaga sa Kanya yan. Pero mahalaga din sa Kanya yung mga ginagawa mo araw-araw sa buhay na ito. Kaya hindi siya pumayag na ano, templo lang ang gawa. Kailangan gawa rin yung buong bayan. Without an ordered secular life, your spiritual life will be affected too. I want you to listen to this because this is very true. For 30 plus years of my ministry, I have seen this already. The secular life is really affecting the spiritual life of people. Talaga, kaya pag hindi ayos yung secular life ng tao, hindi niya inahanap si Lord. God wants to repair five protective walls and boundaries in your life. Emotional, relational, financial, physical, and vocational boundaries. Pag ayos po yung limang yan, ang tibay ng spiritual life mo. Let us begin with emotional boundaries. Can you say emotional boundaries? Listen to this. It is impossible to grow in spiritual maturity without emotional maturity. Impossible. Yung iba naglilingkod na sa simbahan, pero makanti mo lang ng konte tampo na, wala na kay Lord. Oh, hindi lang mapansin ni Father, hindi lang magsisimba. Ma Maano, grabe yung emotions. Your unforgiveness and your anger in your heart will stop you from having a deeper relationship with God. You are easily swayed by vices. May mga ganyan eh, yung andali nilang maano sa bisyo, Yung ang tawag dyan, nalulong sa pulutan. Diba? May kilala ko, yun lang talagang tinatarget niya eh. Habang nag yung barada, pulutan. Nalulong sa pulutan. nag extra rice pa. No? Pulutan lang, ganyan. Nako, mahalaga po yan. Kaya, how do you manage your emotions? I want you to go to my Facebook account later. Huh? I just... 
I just posted it before coming here to the feast. And there are thousands of views already. How will you handle your emotions? So, nandun po yan. Go to Gog na Arun in Facebook. Sino mga followers ko na dyan? Patingin ang kamay. Ayan. Yung iba hindi pa, no? Alam nyo, hindi ko makuha yung Arun Gog na may kumuhang iba. Taga-India. No? Ayaw niya ibigay sa akin. So, binaliktad ko na lang. Gog na Arun. Go also to my website. Okay? This is, I will teach you for this week, ito, it, this week, I am going to send consecutive videos on how you will manage your emotions. Para pag na-manage mo yung emotions mo, you can go deeper into your spiritual life. Second boundary, second wall, relational boundaries. Can you say relational boundaries? You cannot love God and hate people. You cannot. Hindi yun pwede. So how will you love God and love people? You need also to love yourself. So if you are here and you think you are being abused in that relationship, please get out of that relationship. Get out of that situation. If you think you're being abused at work, get out of that work. If you think you're being abused in a relationship, get out. Naalala ko merong isa pumunta, customer. Pumunta ng tindahan. Sabi niya, pabili, pabili po ng kape. Sabi nung tindera, ano pong kape? Sabi niya, yung matapang, yung kaya akong ipaglaban. Sabi, may hugot. No? Tapos may isa pa, pumili. Customer, pabili po ng pain reliever. Pain reliever. Ilan po? Sabi nung tindera. Isa lang, kasi sa aming dalawa, ako lang ang nasaktan. Grabe, di ba? Huh? Ang dami ho niyan. Meron pa, bumili. Pabili po ng ilaw. Sabi ng tindera, anong klaseng ilaw? Yung maliwana, yung makikita niya, yung halaga ko. Huh? Hugot na hugot, di ba? Huh? Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo kung siya yung bumibili doon. Huh? Huh? Baka siya yan. Relational boundaries. Third, physical boundaries. Can you say physical boundaries? Once upon a time, I didn't care of my body because I thought it was an act of selfishness. Yung pag-alagaan mo yung katawan mo, parang kasi ako talaga ministry work lang talaga buhay ko, maniwala kayo, lumulusong ako sa baha, sa bagyo, basta to serve the Lord, pupunta ako sa may hirap, sa mga delikadong lugar, yung mga nagbabatuhan ng mga bote, ng mga bato, ganun, doon ako, pasok ako doon, ministry ako sa mga tao, trabaho ko yan, habang naniningil din, ganun, no? ministry, sabay-sabay na yan, no? but God overhauled my thinking, about not taking care of myself. Maniwala kayo mga kapatid. Ngayon, nagpapa-facial na ako. Huh? Treat your body as a temple, not a trash can. Not a trash can. So, ingatan ng inyong sarili. Merong isang barangay seminar doon sa gym, doon sa may ano, sa lugar ng may kekekwek. Yun yung kanilang barangay. Barangay, may kekekwek. No? May doktor, nagturo, lecture. Sabi niya ganyan, maraming pagkain ng masama para sa atin. So, yung mga audience niya. Halimbawa po, taba ng baboy, masama po yan. Balat ng manok, masama yan. Soft drinks, nako, betsid, nako, masama po yan. Pero, sabi ng doktor, meron ba sa inyong nakakaalam kung ano ang pinakamasamang pagkain? May nagtaas ng kamay, isang lolo. Sabi nung doktor, o oh, lolo, ano po yun? Tumayo yung lolo, nakangiti. Sabi niya, wedding cake. Binatukan siya nung lola. <laughs> diba? Pinakamasamang pagkain, wedding cake. Treat your body as a temple. Tingnan mo nga yung katabi mo. Tingnan mo yung katawan ng katabi mo. Templo ba yan? Templo nino? Ni Buddha? Ang templo ni Buddha. <laughs> diba? Treat your body as a temple. Number three, a four, financial boundaries. Can you say financial boundaries? Alam nyo po, pag mahirap at nahihirap ang maghanap ng pera, 
malayo ho sa isip ng mga tao ang habulin ng Diyos. Bakit ko hahabulin ng Diyos? Habulin ko na lang ang pera. Kaya the Lord wants to teach us something about our financial boundaries as well. And finally, our vocational boundaries. Our vocational walls. Your work should be your worship. Your profession should be your praise to our God. And your occupation will always be your offering to the Lord. So ang Diyos, mahalaga sa Kanya yan, ha? And because of this mindset in us, I believe Jesus' followers, who, who among you here are following Jesus? Sige nga, taas ang kamay. I believe if you are following the Lord, you should be the best managers, the best teachers, the best messengers, the best chemists, the best accountant, the best carpenters, the best doctors, the best drivers in the world. Why? Because you are following Jesus. Because your work is your worship. Amen? Can we all stand? Tayo nga tayong lahat. My dear friend, is your temple built, but are your walls broken? Kasi pwede yan eh, no? Yung talagang Lord, susundang kita. Pero pag hindi ho ayos yung walls, nawawala yung Lord, sunding kita. And that is what we need to pray about. So that you will have a relationship with God and your life will not go into ruins. Let's come to prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let God repair your walls. Father in heaven, these are your people coming before you today. They have different concerns. Meron dito, Panginoon, yung kanilang emosyon na buhay ay magulo. Samahan niyo po sila, Panginoon. Repair that emotional life for them, O oh God. I pray for all the relationships as well. Kung meron man sa kanila ang may away sa bahay, sa trabaho, pagkaisahin niyo na sila, Panginoon. I also pray for their physical well-being, O oh God. Those who are sick right now in this place, I pray that you touch them with your healing hands. Surprise the doctors, O oh God that you are healing them already. Begin your miracle of healing right now in their lives. I pray for those with financial troubles, O oh God. This is a big wall in their lives. I pray that you provide for them. I ask that you help them pay their debts. And my prayer, O oh Lord, is that they will always depend on you, not on their finances, not in economy, but in the one who created the economy. That is you, O oh God. And I pray for all their jobs, their businesses, their careers. May they be the best in what they do. And let that be their worship to you. This is our prayer. We are claiming in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And because you are here, brothers and sisters, I want you to worship the Lord as you offer and surrender to Him all your concerns. As you surrender, let them go so you can truly worship your God who is here. Worship Him now.
someone who's standing up can you please raise your hands over them and we pray heavenly father we thank you for the gift of life for the gift of love and we know lord that our lives is in your hands and so god we pray for a special blessing for these people who are celebrating their birthday and their anniversary that you pour upon them blessing upon blessing grace upon grace and healing and favor and anointing in every aspect of their lives that they need this is our prayer in jesus name amen let's all give them a big hand happy birthday and happy anniversary also, I would like to know, are there anybody here who came today for the very first time? Can I see a raise of hands? Don't be shy. Wag po kayong mahiya. Yes, we do. Can we just invite you to please stand up? We would just like to pray over you. Don't worry. We would just like to pray over you. And towards the end of our program or our session, you will be given a special gift or a special token. Let's all raise our hands over them also. Thank you, Lord, for sending our new family members. We, could, we pray, Lord, that you continue to bless them, that you open up a new blessing upon their lives, that you just bring them back again next week. That starting this week, Lord, you may bless them, open doors for them, and send them the right people that they need, send them the right opportunities for their career, for their businesses, and for their work. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for being here. For all our new attendees, punta lang po tayo dito. We have a special token for you. Also, we are going to have a very special concert that's going to happen on June 24, 6 o'clock p.m. as a celebration for Father's Day. Alright, and so with that, can I invite everybody to please focus your attention to the screen as we watch this video.
Hi, Alvin Barcelona. Alam nyo, ang buhay yung tatay ko. Pag sinabi ng tatay ko, sumusunod ako. Dahil alam ko, may magandang mangyayari pag sinunod ko, tatay ko. Kaya ako, tatay, nagsasabi sa inyo, manood kayo ng father's love. Sumunod kayo, pero sigurado may magandang mangyayari sa inyo. mag enjoy na kayo. May be blessed pa kayo. See you! Father's Love Concert! This is Brother Albert Cabrillas and I'm personally inviting you to attend the Father's Love Concert on June 24, 6.30 p.m. Bellevue Hotel. My friends will be there, we will be there, and it's gonna rock wild. You will feel the love of God. Yeah. <coughs> Father's Love Concert, I will be there and um, I will try to do something that maybe, you know, you, you don't see often. <laughs> And uh, just promise me you will not laugh. That's all. And excited to see you. And we'll have a fantastic time together. Father's Love Concert. So once again, we would like to invite you to uh, that concert. That is a special project by the I Give Club. And that is a benefit concert in behalf of the Jeremiah Foundation. So for more information, please Look for uh, our contact person at the book table outside. And also, we would like to invite all those who are singles. Any singles in the house? Make some noise! Okay, if you are here, this retreat is for you. This is the Love Life Retreat. So, this is technically not like finding your one true love. But you can. Siguro, pwede rin. But it's also, it's more like loving your life. So, loving every aspect of your life. So, that's why it's Love Life Retreat. It's going to happen on June 16 to 17 at St. James Retreat House, Tagaytay City. The investment fee is just 2800 Also, for more information, please visit the book table outside. And lastly, I would like to humbly let you know that we are actually launching my album this morning here in Feast Bellevue. I, we have always believed in the power of music and that is why we would like to use this tool to spread the word of God, to spread the hope of God. Kasi naniniwala po ako, maraming taong nangangailangan ng salita ng Diyos. And I believe music is such a powerful tool that we can use and we can harness. And that is why we are launching my album outside. So if you, please, I know every... All the music is actually digitally free nowadays. You can listen to it on Spotify and Apple Music. But just the same, we sell CDs because the proceeds of the CDs will be used for the next album of Feast Worship. Okay? So I hope that you can support our cause, support our movement, that we may continue to use music to spread the word of God. And that's it. Thank you so much. And so with that, I think we are... Okay, let's give God a big hand. And I would like to turn you over back to Brother Aru. So, Bea is launching her first album. Nasaan na? Meron ba tayo? Patayin niya. Bumili po kayo. Nandun ako. Ako actually ang first love ni Bea. Di ba? Yan ang nakalagay. Ito. Sa Spotify, if you go there, you will see it there. First love. That was Arun Gogna. Pinagyaban ko nga sa mga anak ko. Eh. Ay ko, nasa Spotify ako. Yung anak ko, tuwan-tuwa. We bought the CD... And it is being played in the car every time we ride the car. Sa tagal nung tugtog nung, nung CD, minsan inubo nga si Bea, eh, ganun. Sa CD, ha? No? Napagod. <laughs> grabe. Grabe talaga. You will love the songs because we have been singing and we will sing those songs. And if you look at the band, the singers, uh, Sila po ang ating feast worship band. Tama? Let's give a big hand to them. They are from different feasts, not just in our district, but also in other districts. Ito po yung CD ni Vea. Okay? Kaya maganda po ito sa kotse. Ipiplay nyo. Tapos let the music uh, lead you to worship as you drive. Para mawala minsan yung sama ng loob natin sa mga traffic. So, ito po yan, available over there. Huwag ka nang kumanta, mag-sign ka na lang, ha? Kasi lahat sila bibili, matagal to. May hirapan siya, di ba? No? So, this is it, this is it. This is our, the new album of Vea. This Friday, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Ito pong Friday na ito. So, tumatanggap po ako ng regalo. Hanggang Friday midnight lang. 
pag nagpadala kayo ng Saturday, binabalik ko na yan. No? Ganun, ano? No? But the gift, if you're thinking of a gift, you want to offer or give something to, to me, buy the Father's Love tickets because the proceeds are for what is important in my heart. Ano po yan? Ako po ang overseer ng youth ng Mega Manila. So half of the proceeds will go to the youth of the whole Metro Manila. Eh, ako na yung overseer. So marami ho akong meetings with the young people. We have a lot of projects that we want to do. Another is the Jeremiah Foundation. Ito naman ang puso ng asawa ko. Kaya nag-decide kami na doon ilagay yung mga proceeds ng ating concert this June 24, Father's Love. So, please do that. And then, follow my videos. Ito pong araw-araw na to because on June 15, I will be launching something big. Okay? I don't want you to miss on that. Just go to Facebook. Pag hindi kayo nakatangga, puntahan nyo yung Gog na Arun. Wag Arun Gog na, ha? At ibang bumbay yun. Okay? Sa Gog na Arun kayo pumupunta. And you will see there what I will be launching. Thank you for coming here. I know it's not easy for you to be here, but you are still here. Bring home God's miracle with you. Amen? Let's all stand, brothers and sisters. Lift up your offering to God. Bow down your head and close your eyes. Father in heaven, these are your people. You are number one in their lives. That is why they are here. I pray that you make them number one this week in all their undertakings, oh God. At work, in their businesses, their health as well. Lift them up, oh God, because they are lifting you up. This is my prayer. As they give, give it back to them a hundredfold. My prayer, our prayer, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come, brothers and sisters, with joy. Give to the Lord!